In this video, we are going to adapt Learning Activity 10.2 to use a drop-down menu, and we will call this page orders-select.php. So here we are in our file directory. We are going to be using this orders form, so rather than recreating the work, I'm just going to copy it, and we will rename this to orders-select.php. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change this text box to a drop-down menu. So the first thing that I'm going to do is come down to our form. We are going to replace this input with a drop-down menu. So to do that, I'm going to change input to select. We no longer need the type or the placeholder. We still need the name because this is what's going to determine what values pass when the form is submitted. I will then close my select. So inside of this select drop-down menu, we are going to have PHP code where we're going to echo a list of all the customers that we create. Now we haven't defined this variable yet, so that's going to mean that we need to go to the very top of our page and we are going to define customers as blank, meaning that nothing has been put in between this drop down menu yet. So since we are going to need to connect to the database first to be able to get the customers, I'm going to cut out this require once and I'm going to put it before the if is set because we'll need to use the database not only for when the form is submitted but before it is submitted as well. We will be then using the similar code because we're going to be generating a query. Uh, I will adapt this accordingly, so I'm just going to copy and paste this above as well. All right, so this query is going to populate our drop-down menu. So all I need to populate my drop-down menu is the name of the customer. So because we're not going to pass an ID in this particular one, unlike our lecture video. I'm just going to pass the name as well. So I'm going to say select name from the customer table. And just to make it so that it's easier to read, I'm going to order by name. All right, we no longer need the customer variable as uh, part of the execute statement because there's no question marks in my actual query. We no longer need the total here and the total here either. And then this is no longer going to be a table row. We are going to use uh, option tags instead. Also, I'm not going to be adding to the content variable. I'm going to be adding to the customers variable because this is what populates the drop down menu. So, what am I going to be adding? I'm going to be adding option tags. So, we will open our option tag and we will close our option tag. Inside of this option tag is what I want to display. So, I'm going to put in curly brackets row and what I want to display. So, what I want to display in between these option tags is the name of the customer that comes from this particular query. Notice that once I put the name in between those option tags, all of these names of our customers populated into the drop down menu. Now, if I just select contemporary casuals and click submit, we get the same results as from our previous learning activity. However, the better option here is now I can select other customers and see what they have ordered as well.